Hi guys! I'm back. So I'm gonna show you today a look. I'm gonna do a makeup look using all of my favorite items. So drugstore or high-end and ironically a lot of my favorites are drugstore items. So I, I usually start with my primer and this was a hard one for me to name like one favorite primer because I feel like I have three. So I, have, I like a blurring primer for days like today, but um, some days when my skin feels really dry, I like a hydrating primer. And for that, I use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And then for like a night out, I like to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, it's It feels like, like I put it on, it's like glue on your skin and then you put your foundation on and it just like really, really, really holds it in place. But I find that that primer, um, kind of breaks me out so I really reserve that for like an event or a night out. So uh, for a normal like smoothing primer my favorite is this one Nor Nor Corbin from Touch and Soul. So I'm going to use that one today and I just smooth it And then what I like to do is my brows. People are not going to understand this. I, I get it. I understand. But that's how I do it. Um, although today I did just tint my brows yesterday. And I did try to make a video of that because that was, that's been requested is my brow tinting routine. But I filmed it using my phone because I wanted to do it in my bathroom. And it, I don't like the way it came out. So I'm going to wait a week till my tint wears off and I'll try it again and I'll have to use my computer here. So um, to fill in my brows, it's a lot less work because I just tinted them. So I just kind of like fill in around like the edges a bit on the tail and I use the e.l.f. micro brow pencil. It's my favorite. I use the shade taupe. Um, even compared to like I have Benefit brow pencils, Anastasia, like I've tried them all. This is my favorite. I just like the way it applies a little bit better and the shade of it. Um, it's, it's like a tiny little micro brow pencil. So I'm going to do that really quickly off camera because my mirror's over here, but I have to get super, super close to the mirror when I do my brows. So like you wouldn't see anything anyways. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I am back. I, tint, I just filled in my brows with what they look like when I do that. And then I use a clear brow gel. So my favorite is this one from Benefit. Um, if you're looking for it, it's usually in a silver package. Like this pink part is silver. It's just this came in like a set. Um, this is by far my favorite. I've yet to find anything drugstore that I can manage to like. I'd say um, I used to like the Anastasia one. It really holds and that's what I need because my brow hairs they literally grow like straight down. Like when I go like this you can really see that they're like growing straight down and the, my, the only problem I have with that one is that it kind of removes the makeup underneath that I just applied so I don't like that. So I just, I'm just doing it over here, sorry. <laughs> I just brush up because of how I said that they just like grow straight down. And then I do my foundation. So my absolute favorite foundation is this one from Physicians Formula, the Healthy Skin Foundation. I've gone through like five bottles of this. Um, I, like even compared to a lot of my high-end foundations, I'd say I have a, a different favorite when it comes to like a much more, like a more full coverage. And then I, I usually mix a couple different high-end ones together. I Definitely prefer high end for that for a full coverage when I'm uh, more of an event or going out. 
but this gives me like a medium coverage and it's just like the what I love about it is the way that it sits on my skin like I never you can never see like any texture or um, dry skin like a lot of other foundations that I've tried you can like it clings to like any patches of like dry skin doesn't just accentuates texture or whatever and the other thing is the way that it wears because I'm bad for like rubbing my I always have like a runny nose like it's 90% of the year I have a runny nose so I'm always like blowing my nose rubbing my nose and I find that like sometimes like I've used kind of more like matte finish foundations or ones that really dry down and the way that they wear around like your nose or when they wear off like anywhere even around the chin it, it's just not cute the way that it wears off and this wears off like so beautifully that like you can't even tell that there's foundation wearing off there so that's probably my favorite thing but also like it it stays put it's perfect for me so yeah I just slather it on And then I use a uh, sponge. Uh, this is a beauty blender. I still do prefer a beauty blender barely, but I I wouldn't even suggest buying a beauty blender. Like they're so expensive. I have like a few. I I think the Eco Tools sponge that's also a green color like this from the drugstore is my second favorite and I don't know if I'd actually purchase another beauty blender. I have like quite a few because I used to be so obsessed I like stocked up that I've been using for quite a while but like I don't think I would ever repurchase even though I do like it a little more it's just like not worth five times the amount of money as an eco tool sponge. So I'm just gonna blend in my foundation. I always kind of take it down the neck a little bit just so I don't have that harsh line. And just under the chin too. Now this gives me like a really like light to medium coverage but like on a daily basis that's what I want and what I go for. Um, I just use concealer in like problem areas but I like my freckles showing and I just in general don't have like such problematic skin that I feel like I need to look like the mask on you know I, I think it's prettier to look natural on a daily basis unless it's more of a night out or an event you know have like a buzz in my brow And then I always find when I apply like my foundation to my nose, it makes my nose run. So I always go through a couple Kleenexes when I'm dealing with it. So that's, this is what it looks like. It's like, you can really see the glow. Like it gives like a nice sheen. And then I go in with concealer. And I have, I kind of just put it over like blemish areas. And I usually put it like down the nose. I find, oh, this is tart shape tape. Like I even have to say it. It's everyone's favorite, it's my favorite. I like to apply it on the nose as well because I, similar to the foundation, I like the way it wears on the nose. It just adds some coverage, adds a high, bit of a highlight. And then under the eyes, obviously.
take it here. Because um, if I'm doing um, eyeshadow on like a daily basis, it's like a really simple look that I do, but I don't use an eyeshadow primer. I just use my foundation or my concealer pretty much just out of like laziness and saving a step. But when I'm like going out I, and I'm, I'm doing like more of a eyeshadow look, I use the Urban Decay All Night Day or the Urban Decay eyeshadow. I just use like eyeshadow primer. I just use like the clear one. And then I do powder. This is the Too Faced Born This Way powder. Probably my favorite. I don't use it all the time because I just, um, some like, you know, when I'm just going to work or whatever, I just want to like, um, not waste my good powder. So I'll use the um, Fit Me powder, the Maybelline Fit Me from the drugstore. It's a loose powder. So yeah, sometimes I use that just to like, not use up all of my good powders. I have a few in my other highlighters. I just don't want to use them up. So usually I start with under the eye. And I like tape it right on there so that it can sit in my crease a bit. And I do do the top of my eyelid. And then I use like a bit bigger of a brush and do the rest of my face. I usually um, avoid my nose because it makes it so that when like the foundation wears off around my nose that it looks like kind of like a harsh line or whatever. And I, you can just see the powder forming right there. And I like to avoid that. And plus when I have like shape tape on my nose like that, it really like doesn't require setting. And I, and I also feel like the powder on the nose kind of um, accentuates like texture and stuff. I did see some like flying onto my nose when I did my eyes. So I'm just gonna like brush it away with this brush, but I don't like, add to the nose area. For my everyday look, I don't really do like any baking. When I'm going for like a more serious makeup look, I'll bake. It's like all stuck to my lashes. So then next step, I go in with bronzer. This is the butter bronzer from Positions Formula. And then when I'm doing like serious makeup look I still use this bronzer to swap it and go around my sides of my forehead and I'm trying to get it like up into the hairline and then just around here and I use like a pretty big fluffy brush for this and then I go in with a contour shade on top of that Looks like. And then for like a contour shade, I use this uh, Too Faced. It's the, they're like matte bronzer in the shade just milk chocolate. But this is like a travel size that I swear <laughs> I've had for like three years. And I use it because I only use it just like to contour my cheek. Like it's like full. Like I don't know if I'm ever going to have to purchase the full size of this thing. So I take it and I just go like right into the hollow of my cheek with it. That's all I really do. Um, if I'm going to contour my nose, which I don't do on like a regular daily basis, I use this. I'm going to use like a much smaller brush, like almost like an eyeshadow brush. So that's it. And then blush. I... I'm obsessed with the butter blushes from Physicians Formula. There's like three different shades that I love, but this is probably my favorite. It's a newer shade. It's called Saucy Moth. I love it. 
it's like a shimmery blush. I, I love like a shimmer in my blush. If I'm not looking for a shimmer, like all of these blushes have a, sh a bit of a shimmer, then any of the Tarte blushes are probably my favorite. I have quite a few just like nudey shades of that. So I just barely tap it all the way up to the cheek. usually just give my nose a little tap with whatever's left over and then highlighter um you already know becca they're the best this one is the shade vanilla quartz i do enjoy i have quite a few other shades i enjoy a lot of the other shades but just the formula in general i love so this is like a pretty small fluffy brush. This is from Wet n Wild. And I just, I do like my cheekbones and I kind of just go over my forehead with like whatever is left over on my brush. Same thing. I kind of tap down the bridge of my nose. I do my chin. That's it. So you can see what it looks like very pretty so then I do my eyes I do my eyes last like after foundation like this one I'm just doing like a simple look if I'm trying to do like a really serious eyeshadow look dark look I do it first it's more for a night out um, one of my favorite kind of simple eyeshadow palettes is this one from elf um, right up there with like the wet and wild ones the like 10k and wet and wild ones they're really awesome too I'd, I'd say between elf and wet and wild those are my favorite drugstore ones so this i just like for the colors it's really simple and for the most part i always use like i start with like a shade like this one a really mauvey shade and i go into my crease with that so I am kind of over here doing it, but hopefully you can see. I always just start with that and I build it up in the crease. I use like a pretty big, big fluffy brush to start. What it looks like and then I'll take like a bit smaller of a brush and just kind of try to get it in the outer crease a little in the outer V a little better and then I'll usually go in with a bit darker of a color like this brown here into the outer V just a little bit take my bigger brush that I was using it, and just kind of blend that brown into the mauve shade that I was using. This is what it looks like. And then what I do is I usually do like a, sh a shimmer on the lid in the shape Cosmo a lot right here and I usually use my finger for that it's kind of like a mauve like a pinky shimmer which kind of stays with the like the vibe it's more I'm more of like a mauve shade than orangey brown and then I'll go in with a lighter shimmer so I'll use this one here just on the very inner corner 
and for my shimmers, as always, use my finger and just do like it applies better. So this is what it looks like. It's like a really, really basic look. And then I'm gonna do my upper my upper lashes, and then I'll um, do the, the lower lash line. So for my upper lashes, I use Lash Sensational from Maybelline. This is my favorite, my absolute favorite. I always curl my lashes. So I'm gonna quickly curl and curl my lashes and do my mascara off the camera because I get super close to the mirror. So here's what the mascara looks like. I just feel like this mascara gives me more like length and volume than most other mascaras that I've tried. And also it just doesn't, it doesn't crumble, it doesn't flake, anything like that. So then I usually do my bottom lash line and I just do like kind of a little bit of eyeshadow there too. Because I don't, I don't usually do eyeliner on a daily basis. I sometimes do with like a heavier eyeshadow look but for the most part I'll use like a dark eyeshadow to like line my lid and line like my bottom lash line. So I'm just using like a thinner brush and I'm going to use like a lighter shade like this this one here. And I just go along the bottom lash line a little bit with that. Just to add some dimension and then towards the outer I'll go in with that darker brown that I was using and just kind of Flick it up towards the outer corner, like so, and then I will apply mascara to my bottom lashes. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, so I did that, and I also lined my lips. So this is what my eyes look like. It's just my kind of simple look if I was just going to dinner or something like that. Going uh, for lip liner, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. This is the shade Pillow Talk. It's the Lip Cheat Liner. Uh, this is the best lip liner, in my opinion. And then for lips, I really like this. This is like a mini size. I have it in other shades in the full size, but I just received this one in a kit. Uh, it's from Bare Minerals. It's I don't know what it's actually called. It's like a matte liquid lip or whatever. The shade is Swag. It's kind of like a mauve nude. And um, what I like about it, it doesn't like, it doesn't have that like lasting power that a normal like liquid lipstick has, where like it wears off really like patchy and gross. It's kind of it just feels like it feels like a like silk, and it doesn't really ever dry down where like you can't wipe it off. Like it wears away like a lipstick would when you're lining or whatever so it just looks more natural as it wears away that's like a big pattern you'll see here is that the way that it wears away matters to me like I don't want it to wear off when I eat and then like and then I just look shitty so yeah I usually apply like a pretty thin amount and I like pat it in with my finger this is like my usual nudie lip this is what it looks like. I love the way it looks and it doesn't look as it doesn't look matte. It looks like it has like a sheen to it. I don't even like that matte look anymore at all. So these are really perfect for that. And then to finish I usually always use a like a glowy spray. This one's from Glam Glow. Glow Setter Mist. I always want to like kind of add a glow back because the powder like it just helps the powder like sink in and not look so powdery <laughs> so yeah I just I like this one because it's got like a really thin sprayer like a, the mist is nice I hate when it's like at your face so that's it that's my whole makeup look thank you for watching if you did if you made it this far I appreciate it uh, let me know what you guys would like to see next. I am planning my next uh, two videos. I'm planning to do my brow tint routine, which, I, like I said, I tried to do. didn't work out too well. And my um, skincare routine. I've 
I'm most excited to do that. I've been putting it off because there's one or two products that are definitely my most important products that I'm out of. And I've been like kind of postponing buying them just because I'm broke. And I realized like I can't really do a skincare routine if I'm not recommending like my most favorite products. So I ordered those. I'm just waiting for them to come in and then I'll make my video. So yeah, here's the final look. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.